YouTube. This is Puck. Welcome in my MacBook. And today I want to show you Jasmit. And Jasmit is a brand new operating system of Mac that uh, still has to come out. Let me show you some specifications here about this Mac. And I have 3 gigabytes of RAM in this machine. It's a MacBook Pro uh, late 2007, so it's an old book. It's the MacBook Pro 3.1. I don't know if that says something, but uh, here you can see it. MacBook Pro 15 inch, 2.4, 2.2 gigahertz, processor 2.2 gigahertz, Intel Core 2 Duo. So this is a 64 bit machine. I put one more gigabyte inside because it was a little bit slow. And um, yeah, I also did many things but that you will see in my other video I won't reveal yet what I did this is the serial number of the book uh, displays storage Here you can see the storage the memory support and surface this is a beta version and I can test this because I'm a Apple uh, yeah I have a developers uh, whatever thing so you know I can just like test this out and here you can see how it looks uh, in fact I had 10.7.4 uh, running on this machine that is lion and uh, then I updated to Mavericks that was a free update that you could get out of the App Store also even I thought I created a video about that but I still have to post it so um yeah the maverick uh, you can get really easy out of the app store just uh, hit download and it will start uh, downloading and after that you can install it and you won't lose any file and your system will be updated to maverick it's a brand new uh, also free uh, upgrade from mac so it's completely free you know and i don't know if jasmine will be free but uh, this is how it looks for now um it reminds me a lot of uh of tiger you know um this yeah this thing it, it went back to you know um kind of yeah only thing that are like different are the icons they use the same ones as in your iphone so if you also have an iphone i do so these icons they come they are familiar to me you know uh, if i see them such as the safari and you know other stuff uh, used here as icons they are really familiar if you're using an iOS 7 uh, uh, phone iPhone uh, this is the program part here you can see the program parts yes we have a uh, virus scanners because uh, there are viruses also for um, how you call it for Mac so you should get this virus scanner and you can see that my temperature is uh, running up at this time so let's look at the temperature Oops, sorry for that. You can see that my temperature now is uh, CPU 170, 90 degrees, and that I think is really high. So what will I do? I'll just uh, go to higher RPM. So I will start cooling my baby, because that is also a problem that I think uh, with the old uh, machines, that, you know, at this time I will speed up my fan. You see, and now my fan will start running. And... Um, now you will see that my temperature will go down you can maybe also hear the fan now so it's important uh, that if you do this on an old mac that you also have a program called uh, smc fan control and also get uh, the temperature meter here so you get a good look at your temperature because these are high temperatures and i can tell you that i cleaned the book yesterday i opened it completely um and remove the dust even uh, created some more space for the air flow to go out but uh, as you can see the temperature if working on certain things such as now recording a desktop recording including sound i don't even know if i'm breaking up you will hear it you know if this will be good enough to you know post but uh this is uh, pure the weakness of the processor and probably i should get even more ram i think this thing can take like um six gigabytes of ram so you know i should really put in some more ram so you know the processor does not have to work that hard if i want to run uh adjustment because uh this machine would uh, run just as good on lion 10.7.4 so you know i'll just install this to see and to look and to you know 
but I'm not happy about the temperature and the temperature is coming because of the operating system working really 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 hard to um, to do everything that you know the operating system expect of it to do so that is the problem I think with the old MacBook Pros they can run Jasmine they can run uh, uh, Mavericks but um, the temperature is a big problem and uh, if you have an old Mac you should really uh, open it up and clean clean the inside because as you can see here temperatures might go up and if you have a stock uh, 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 how you call it airflow this would be over 100 degrees and your machine would not be able to do anything anymore and at 120 degrees it would shut off but tell me do you want something of 120 degrees like hotter than boiling water you know in front of you do you want that no you don't so uh, that's why you must really consider uh, if you want to go do this on your old MacBook. You know, I think uh, the processor must work way too hard. I think if I will put in um, uh, Leopard Snow, this will run even better because this book was, yeah, I think created for Leopard Snow. You know, so yeah, that's it. But um, you can, if you have a stronger machine, a stronger Mac, you can go... Um, probably when this comes out also install it there are other ways to install it i saw i see some sites offering the complete package uh, for download you know i mean like it's against the rules of apple to do a thing like that but yeah i mean like many people out there already have just made uh, the beta version running on their machine just because they um yeah they yeah how you call it they just downloaded the illegal well not illegal version they just downloaded the test version from other sources yo peeps this was my video uh, i won't make it any longer i'm gonna give my uh, computer some uh, some rest here because i see it's getting i think way too hot i don't like to see 75 degrees you know i hate it when i see a processor running at 75 degrees i don't know why i have that i just have this this thing because all my other machines, you know, they have way lower, um, my Windows machines, they have way lower uh, um, uh, temperature temperatures. So, you know, yeah, I might um, also try to install Linux Mint on this thing. I can let the do let desktop look just like this with Linux Mint. So that is not a problem. I will not lose any uh, desktop uh, quality looks and whatever I want to look, let it look like you know but maybe the machine will run even better on the linux with less high temperatures because i don't like this high temperatures but i do love the system it looks amazingly beautiful it's back to old school it's like the 70s or you know when when the people were wearing these kinds of clothes and you know you see ladies wearing these clothes again you know so it's yeah we're going back in time but with renewed technology around us uh, making the system uh, more reliable more beautiful at least reliable we will see <laughs> this is not the official version yet but we will see about that and um, yeah oh yeah I wanted to show you some uh, some uh, some background pictures as well because I saw some really nice background pictures that I don't want to keep away from you And you can see with the high temperatures, the machine is slower in, you know, bringing down the whatever I add. Well, the, the backgrounds, I, I'll show it another time. Oh, there it is. <laughs> but here they are. And for my classic uh, users, your old classic desktop is still there. Remember this one? This one was there since Tiger. So that's what I love about Mac. They don't let the people, you know, that are like used to certain things, they don't let them feel uh, uh, left out. Mac really thinks of the users. That's why I love uh, the company Mac, you know, uh, even though Steve is not there anymore, you know, yeah. Of course, I miss Steve, you know. Steve was like the god, you know. But, okay. That's it, peeps. Uh, this is my video about uh, Jasmid. Uh, I think it looks outstanding. My compliments goes to the Apple developers out there. 
and to all you testers keep it up uh, if you like this video please rate this video like and subscribe to my channel for even more videos uh, thanks again for watching and bye bye